Hello everybody, this is Training Gaming here to kick off the last 32 rounds of my tournament. Yes, the last 32 rounds getting underway and we are starting up here with these four beautiful matches. So we will see who Broxy going up against Dino Smash, Dino Fans going up against Maastrician, Khalid taking on Blood Moon, and then Iron Dan going up against Ultima Dino King. So yeah, without further ado, let's go on with our first match. Right, let's see what this has in store for us. Ooh, I think we're on the Dirt Plains field, which is good news for Dino Smash. But in the red corner, for Broxy, we got a Margosaurus. Broxy looked strong in the group stage, topping group D. Um, yes, I should take this time to mention that if any of these matches end in a draw, there will be a... Oops, excuse me. There will be a sudden death match between each team's first dinosaur. And during that sudden death match, there will be no terrain advantage, no blitz rules, or no quick strikes. Comprende? That's in case any of these matches end in a draw, but let's be honest, we haven't had a draw yet in this tournament. I don't think we're going to. Right, in the blue corner for Monsieur Dino Smash, we got Ferrazinosaurus. Dino Smash, well, got you by the skin of his chinny chin chin. Literally. Scraped through to the last 32 rounds. But it's here nonetheless. Back in at the ferry, we've got the Diceratops with terrain advantage. Sugoi! Ooh, I, this is going to be a tough one to call. I do think the terrain advantage does give Dino Smash the upper hand. But the Steg does have the type advantage over the Diceratops. If it comes to that match. So yeah, tough one to call this one, tough one to call. Oh, tight. Another tight. I think if the fairy can get the first hit, that'll set Dino Smash up nicely. But look at that. Hardly taking any damage with them ties. But gonna take some damage here. And Margosaurus gets the first hit. So it's Broxy getting off to the quick start. Oh, look, they, they broke his arm. Well, that Futaba cannon's getting triggered. Will it activate? Oh, it's going to. Oh, well, well there goes Ferrazinosaurus. The saving grace for Dino Smash is that the Deceratops will come in with terrain advantage and it will hit. It will get a crit off of the Margosaurus. And it has type advantage as well. Well, Diceratops, it's all on you again. But you do, you will get a stomp in now. But that is a very good start for Broxy and not a good start for Dino Smash. Boosh. Okay. Broxy swaps when HP's in the red, so it's not time to swap yet. Ooh, another hit from Amargosaurus. Broxy on top. Chuck the life out of Diceratops. Oh, hello. We got an Earth Barrier. Broxy definitely turning the screw here. Getting that Futaba Cannon triggered. Yet again, and get another hit on the board. It's a Softening Beam. Well, the only hit Dino Smash has got so far was from the Terrain Advantage. High, but that'll favor that won't favor Dino Smash now. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh, it's tight defense type. I forgot. Ooh, Diceratops not done yet. Getting the hit on the Amargosaurus. The Earth Barrier will eat up the damage, but the swap will fail. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point since bonus points aren't really a factor. Oh, no, there it is. Game over for Dino Smash. And it's Broxy getting the win with a well-timed Futaba Cannon. Boosh. 
Well, that's going to be all she wrote for Dino Smash in this tournament, despite scraping through by the skin of their teeth. They're the first victims of the last 32 round. And it's Broxy going through to the last 16 round. Well, who will their opponent be? We're going to find out in this next matchup. Right, what does this match have in store for us? Oh, well, um, that's good news for Dino fans. We're on the dirt plains again. And that, as you saw in the last match, favours lightning dinosaurs, like this Pachyrhinosaurus. And it also has type advantage as well, I might add. So, yeah, it'll be a scissors hit. It won't get the crit, but it'll get a scissors hit. Backing up the Pachyrhinosaurus, we got Armatus. Dino fans thrash off their victory over Cheer Knights in the final round of Group F. It'll be a tough ask for them against Mastrishian, because Mastrishian has been in strong form. But, you know, it can be done. They can do it. they got the type advantage, and they got the armor dust. they got the armor as well if they need it. Right, in the blue corner for Mastrishian, we got Big Bad Bronthikins. Mastrishian been in solid form so far in this tournament. Well, other than the first match. But yeah, it's been pretty comfortable for them. Finishing second in Group E. In fact, level on points with the hosts. Right, backing up Bronthikins, we got Eoraptor. Now, what will Eoraptor transform into? Oh, is Storacosaurus interesting? Hmm, that is an interesting one. We'll see how this plays out, but that might not be the worst case scenario for Dino fans there. I mean, the worst case scenario would probably be something like a Margosaurus or Stegosaurus. But yeah, we got terrain advantage oh, yeah. to deal with first, so Pachyrhinosaurus is going to get the first hit anyway. Yeah, yeah, go on, get your banter over with. Okay, Dino fans swaps when HP's below half. Master Shin in the yellow. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, and a crit from Maastrishian. A good start there. And you know what that means? Okay, yeah, the type of ant is limited to damage there, but the stock the source is going to come in. Well, the Eoraptor is going to come in. Heal up the Brontokins a bit. Ooh, a Gatlin Spark would be very welcome. Ooh, it's a tie though. No Gatlin Spark yet. Maastrishian does have the slight lead. Okay, that's probably going to be below half after that. And it will be, and in fact, it'll be time for both our guys to attempt to swap. Oh, there is Dino Fans who gets it. Maastrishian fails the swap. Dino Fans does not. An Armatus, has, an Armatus will come in and face Brontekins. Ooh, how crucial could that be? Although, it doesn't draw the Eoraptor out. And Brontekins' bar is getting full. I better get the codes out ready. Just in case. <laughs> but yeah, that bar is filling up. Boosh! What I will say... Oh, hello. What we got here? We got Aqua Javelin. Boosh! Oh, look at the damage! Hmm. Pivotal moment this could be. Actually, no. I don't think we'll see Spectral Destroy. Well, we'll just find out, won't we? Oh, we, we might! It's a tie! Right, better enter the code. I will say, though... When Pachyrhinosaurus comes back in, it will get a hit with a terrain advantage, which will be enough to kill Brontokins. I will say that. So Dino Fan's not in as much trouble as you would think he is. Oh, it's a tie! Another tie? Is that enough to kill Brontokins? Oh, it's not, but it's enough to kill Armatus. But like I said, the terrain advantage means that the Pachyrhinosaurus is going to get the next hit, which guarantees that Brontokins dies. So Spectral Destroyer does not activate. 
Ooh, that could be a big moment, that for Dino fans. Big moment there. Oh, that's a tie though. Plasma Anchor's gonna activate. Ties or Super EO Raptor all day long. Well, I think this guy's crit is scissors. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's paper, but a crit from Pachyrhinosaurus will probably win it for Dino fans. But can he get it? He's going for it. It's all on this. Oh, it's a tie, but you know what that means. It's game over for Dino fans. Plasma Anchor's going to come in to finish the job. And it's Maastrician going through to the last 16 rounds. Ooh. Really tight contest, that. Really tight. But the Eoraptor gets it done. Um, commiserations to Dino fans. They did put up a really good fight. At one moment, I thought they were going to win it. They said they went for the Gatlin Spark. Actually, let's see what would have happened. Okay, so he would have got the next hit, but it wouldn't have been a crit, so Eoraptor would have survived. So, yeah, Maastrician probably would have won the match anyway, but... Right, time to move on to our third match of this session now. Right, this should be an intriguing match. Ooh, okay, in the red corner, for Khalid, we have got Taurosaurus. Khalid getting through and... Getting it done in the final round of Group B against Team Asia. And the reward? A match against Blood Moon. We could be in for a quick match here though, because both of these guys have specialised in having super-powered crepts. Although, this could be a problem for Khalid here, because the Tijongasaurus will have terrain disadvantage. No, actually, no, it's got terrain advantage. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh, does that put Khalid in, in the lead? Right, in the blue corner for Blood Moon, we got a T-Rex. Also a super-powered crit as well. But it does have the Dino Stuffer. Which could be, well, it could be vital in this matchup. Blood Moon getting through to the last 32 round relatively comfortably. Making light work of everyone, except, well, except for Red Bean Ice Cream, who they kind of struggled against. But let's be honest, the work was already done and... You all know how I feel about their match against Dragon Destroyer that they should have won. Could be a tough one to call. I think the terrain advantage does put Khalid, you know, does give Khalid the slight edge. But yeah, going to be a tough, tough one to call this. And we start with a tie, which is exactly what Blood Moon wants because that triggers Burning Dash. Oh, look at that, Burning Dash. <laughs> right, um, Khalid swaps when HP's in the red. Well, it's going to be in the red in, in a minute. And Blood Moon swaps when HP's below half. Oh, look at the that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's insane. Fight the swap, Taurosaurus. Oh, there's a tie. He's not even going to get a swap. <laughs> Alright, but what Khalid will get is the next hit because the Tijongasaurus has terrain advantage. And to be honest, he's probably going to need that hit. And up, oh, Burning Dash has been triggered again. And I think that's elemental power as well, so that will limit the damage Burning Dash could do. Ooh, that's another tight. Sand Trap could be in play here. Alright, the T Rex is time to swap it out. And Blood Moon gets the swap. Yes, not very good so far from Khalid. The Burning Dash definitely leaving its mark. But Khalid is getting hits. But as I said, in, in fact, I think they've got more hits than Blood Moon. But Blood Moon got that big crit at the start, which is the difference. And which is why Blood Moon has the lead. Ooh, but it's time for Khalid to land a big crit. It's a rock roller, and without the secret move being triggered, this might spell the end for Deinonychus. I mean, it should. Blech. Oh, he killed it! 
And the T-Rex has to come back in. Ooh, interesting. But remember, Blood Moon does have the Dino Stuffer. Oh, no, it's a burning dash. Because of course he gets a burning dash off. Elemental power might spare him here. I think Tajongasaurus will survive by the elemental power. Or not. <laughs> elemental power or not, the power of the T-Rex's crit proved too much for Khalid. And it is Blood Moon going through to the last 16 round. Can they be stopped? Can that T-Rex be stopped? Probably not. Right then. It's time for our final match of this session to find out who Blood Moon's opponent will be. Right, let's see how this match will go up. Ooh, okay, we are on the beach field, which, in fact, doesn't affect anybody. Right, in the red corner for Iron Dan, we've got the Stegosaurus. Iron Dan scraping through to the knockout rounds, finishing fourth in Group E to set up this matchup. Backing up the Steg, we've got Super Spinosaurus, the Awaken Mode on 4. Ooh, I, this could be an intri- this is going to be an interesting match. The winner will go on to play Blood Moon in the, in the last 16 round. Oh, you know, in the blue corner, for Ultima Dino King, we have got the Tarkia, Super Tarkia. The Awaken Mode on 3. Bam, bam. I think it could come down to the Super Dinosaurs this matchup. But the Dino King has a strong record against Iron Dan. And we'll be looking to extend that record. Backing up the Tark, we've got Saltosaurus. Well, we've definitely seen the power of that Hydro Cutter. And it's the re well, one of the reasons why Ultimate has finished top in Group B. Yeah, he, I, I, he found the Ultima Dino King, but you know, that's some shocks before. Ooh, and it is Iron Dan getting the first hit on the board. Technique boost coming in as well. Will we see some Earth Barrier Edge? We do. Good start from Iron Dan. Gonna need a good start. Ooh. It's a spike arrows. Things looking good for Iron Dan early on. Whoosh! And the Tarkia is going to take some major damage. Can it? Well, it won't. It'll, it could survive the Awaken Mode to the Awaken Mode. And it does. And it gets the swap out into Salty Saurus. Eats up the Earth Barrier as well. A good hit there from Ultima. Ooh, an Earth Barrier to come in as well. Which will help because the Tarkia will heal up while the Saltosaurus tags in. Oh, that's a tie. But Ocean Panic. We do see Ocean Panic. Ultima coming back into this contest. Badish. Shockwave effect here will guarantee that Ultimate goes for scissors. Oh, and he gets the hit. Boosh. Okay, so Iron Dan swaps when HP's in the red, so it's not red yet. Oh, it might be red after this Aqua Javelin, though. And it is red. Right, Steg, time to swap out. Oh, is it time? Oof, that's close. I thought I clipped paper then. <laughs> Ooh, he does get the swap. Stegosaurus lives to fight another day. And the Super Spino will come in. Right, that's once. Ooh, but Saltosaurus does get the next hit. Another Aqua Javelin. Off from the Dino King, chipping away slowly rather than going for the crests. Twice. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's another time when we see another ocean panic. No, but it is time to swap out the stick. Salt the source. Oh, and Ultima gets it. You know what that means? The Takia will be waking up. But that's all the swapping that Ultima Dino King will be doing. Ooh, but the Spino gets the hit. How crucial could that be? It, it'll have the Awaken mode when it comes back in. Of course, the Earth Barrier there eats up the damage, but the health will be halved. Ooh, does that put Iron Dan in, in the driving seat? Oh, I think it does. Can he pull this off? Saltosaurus coming in. Oh, it's a time. Oh, it's Hydro Cutter! But the Spino will get the Awaken mode next. So the Stegosaurus does go down. In comes Spinosaurus. Time for the Awaken mode. Well, it's all on this now. If Iron Dan gets the next hit here, it's game over. Can Ultimate survive? Iron Dan's gonna pull it off! Finally breaking the losing streak against Ultima Dino King to knock him out the tournament! And what a way to win! And like I said, the Awaken mode making the difference. Ultimate didn't get his hit off, but Iron Dan did! And it is Iron Dan going through to the last 16 round. A shock upset there, and Ultima Dino King out of the tournament. Well, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? Right, we'll have a look at our matchups that we've ha gone through and end the session. Well, here's our first two matchups for the last 16 round. It will be Broxy against Maastrician and Blood Moon against Iron Dan. And wow, what an upset for Iron Dan. A huge, a huge victory there. Can that give them momentum going forward? Although, it'd be a tough ask against Blood Moon. <laughs> Especially the way they've been winning. That is our first, that is part one of the last 32 round up. So stay tuned for next time when we will do these four matches. Till then, ta ta! Mm -hmm.